So it looks like something is still... Somebody could have been playing games trying to stop someone from going through a rebirth. If they didn't want to go through like a rebirth, a change, a transformation. They didn't end up getting a new beginning. Um, there's something that they were scared of. The unknown. So somebody was scared of the unknown. Maybe they thought someone was playing games with them. So they didn't want to take a leap of faith with somebody. And so now everything is just kind of still and calm. Um, this could also be an indication of like a, a calm before the storm. Yeah, somebody somebody was not inspired or somebody was inspired to take a wrong action or a bad action. Somebody could have been talked into something out of fear or not doing something out of fear. Like taking a leap into the unknown <clears throat> to have this new beginning with somebody else. See what's going on. Before I do those, I'm going to use any check movies. Young ones, immature always. <clears throat> so someone could be acting immature or they think you're immature. I don't care, but somebody does. So someone is very nonchalant, very immature, acting very childish. Don't put the cart before the horse in the reverse. Maybe that's how somebody sees you or how you see somebody else. Maybe because someone's younger, someone thinks that um, they're immature. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. Someone's do someone's playing games. Somebody was playing games. Somebody was being childish. Something is slow moving. Don't try this at home in the reverse. So somebody thought that something was going to work out for them at home or in a situation. But somebody is dark. Somebody had dark intentions and they're withholding a secret. Confession is good for the soul in the reverse. So someone is holding back a dark secret about their home or regarding their home situation. And they're acting very childish and immature about this, possibly to cover it up. Um, or they could view this about you. You could be younger. There could be an age difference between you and somebody. But somebody has some dark secrets or some something they're withholding or keeping in the dark. Maybe you think that somebody doesn't care because they're acting childish and, and immature. And it's like you're you're giving someone all the signs, the signals, but it's like someone's moving very slowly. Maybe it's because this person is one that carries dark intentions. Rolling stone gathers no moss is in the reverse. So, oh, Papa could have been a rolling stone kind of energy. Somebody could have been withholding the fact that they were traveling to do something or moving or something wasn't moving at home within their home life. <clears throat> somebody was pushing someone's buttons intentionally so someone was trying to provoke someone so this could be an indication of you know someone living in the same house as someone and them pushing your buttons trying to provoke you i swear that i'm up to no good because someone was up to no good so someone was trying to start a fight have an altercation maybe so they could leave or travel or they were just doing something intentionally um like as a, a jab, like out of retaliation or spite, a secret to a good relationship is not having one. Oh, so they could be lying and telling people they're not in a relationship or they were not in a relationship with you. And um, they were trying to push your buttons. Maybe someone could have, like someone could have come up to you. You could, you could literally live with this person. You don't have to, but I'm just seeing this scenario is you could have lived under the same roof as someone and this person is telling people that you're not together. Maybe you're just like a housekeeper, housemaid, or you're just staying there temporarily or something like that. And so like someone may have come up to you and um, made a comment or indicated that um, you're not in a relationship and you're like, wait, wait, what, 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 like, <laughs> um, so somebody could have made a comment or said something that uh, was a big red flag for you. And you're like, the only way that this person would have this information is if the person I'm living with told them this. I'd like to help you out. Which way did you come in? Yeah, someone said you were on your way out, that you weren't going to stay there long. So this could have been an indication that um, 
you know, past, present, or future energy. So you could, this could have already happened. You could have already lived with this person, or this could be going on now, or this is going to happen in the future. But someone needs to do something with their life. This could be you getting motivated. Maybe this person was acting as if they were trying to help motivate you by kicking you out of the nest, you know, like a parental figure or something like that. Um, but I feel more like this would be like a relationship thing where someone said that you were not in a relationship with them. Maybe they were trying to get in someone else's pants that's close to you that you know. They were acting very childish. You're very different from somebody. The change on my mood swing broke. So there's a difference between you and somebody, whether it's this person or the person that they lied to about you. There's a huge difference here. And something is going to snap. Someone is going to snap because they may have chose the wrong situation or person. If Cinderella's shoe fit perfectly, why did it fall off? So yeah, if you guys are such a good match, then why are you in the Divine Femme or Divine Masculine's energy? If things are working out so well for you and this Divine Femme or Masculine's the immature one, why are y'all having such problems at, at, within your home? So this person could have chosen to um, stay in a situation with a karmic or um, chose a karmic over you. Like if you were in some sort of competition and they're regretting that decision. Someone's trying to come back around. Whoop! Coming back. Someone's trying to circle the block, make a loop around. <clears throat> like, wait for me! But someone is being controlled. Someone is very controlling. Someone could be trying to come back, make a loop around, but someone is very controlled. They could be feeling suffocated within a situation. To make your dreams come true, you have to stay awake. Someone could be sleeping a lot. They could be thinking about sleeping with you. They could be trying to... They could be, like, reminiscing about sleeping with you, being intimate with you. They, they want to come and hook up with you in an intimate way. Uh, but they're being controlled. There's something controlling about this person or they're being controlled by a karmic person and they can't come towards you. There was not a happy situation, a happy union. Maybe at one time you were happy together or you thought you were happy together because I'm hearing that song so happy together, but someone didn't want to put in the work. I can, but I won't, but someone didn't want to work on this relationship with you. You thought it was a good match, but <clears throat> it was not because someone didn't want to put in the work. And now something has cooled off. One of the sad realities of life is laundry always cools off. So they may have thought they were getting the bigger, better deal with this other person, with this situation. They may have thought that that was their better match for them than you. <clears throat> Maybe they thought you were too different. But the difference between you and the person that they chose over you is like night and day. And now something has cooled off. Something is like not hot. Like maybe they thought the situation was hot. You know that they had landed the fantasy person. And this was going to go somewhere. And this was going to be all like just a bed of roses. Um, <laughs> but I, I just heard the song. I beg your pardon. I never promised you a rose garden. Um, so someone didn't get what they were expecting. <clears throat> Someone wanted to be looked at as a superhero, but they were, they're like an anti-hero. Um, this is the kind of person that would be like sabotaging, self-sabotaging. They self-sabotage themselves, the relationship they could have had with you, or the relationship they did have with you. They treated you like an option, they treated you like shit, and you, if you lived with this person, you left, you moved out. Um, because they were telling people that you were just going to be there temporarily, so if they treated you like an option, you left. And this person did everything they could to make you look like you weren't a hero, that they were the one that was swooping in to save the day, and that, um, you know, you were the villain in the story, not them, and they were trying to help you out, and this, that, and the other, and in reality, you thought you were building a relationship with this person, and that wasn't the case at all, not in their eyes. You, you both had two different realities or perceptions of what was going on here. This person wanted to play around. They didn't want to be committed to anybody. This is giving me like king or queen of wands energy. Yeah, they weren't motivated. They thought you had your hand out. They expected you to give to them. So they had their hand out. Maybe they wanted you to help pay like half their bills or some shit. And they told everyone you weren't in a relationship. You were just staying there and... Maybe they said you didn't give them money or didn't help out with the bills or something, and maybe you did, maybe you offered, they didn't accept your money, or they wanted your money, and, it, you know, they very much appreciated your money, but that's all they wanted you there for, and now this motherfucker could be trying to come back around to, um, see what else they can squeeze out of you.
Your feelings may have cooled down for this person. So we have a feminine energy, empress energy here. So if someone comes back around, you just may not feel the same way that you did before. Because the challenge here is when I split the deck, there's someone here who's a liar and someone was stopped dead in their tracks. So you may have called them out on their bullshit or you're going to call them out on their bullshit. Someone could be calling you a liar. And that's why somebody, something got stopped. Somebody was trying to gaslight you into thinking that you were a liar or, you know, they told other people that you were lying. Someone's in a situation where they're not happy. They're bored. Someone's bored out of their ever-loving mind. So, yeah, something cooled down. It wasn't as hot and heavy as they thought it was. And now they're realizing they're bored. Once again, the liar came out. So someone had their hand out. They were lying. They didn't want to be with you. They didn't want to be in a relationship with you. They just wanted money. But now they're bored in the situation that they ended up in. <laughs> That's funny. They can't stand the person they're with. <laughs> they just can't. <laughs> they get on their nerves. Like, they just irritate them. Like, everything that this person does is so irritating. I'm getting like that... A really screechy, whiny, annoying, high-pitched voice. Like, just whoever this person is, it's like their nails. Like, every time this person speaks, this masculine just hears, like, nails on a chalkboard. Like, can you just shut the fuck up? Like, that's what it is. Someone wants to come toward you and be compassionate toward you and offer you flowers because now they see you as a ten of cups. So someone sees you as a ten of cups situation. Now someone sees you as a happy ending. They didn't appreciate you and value you when they had the chance. They lied on you, talked all kinds of shit about you. Uh, and then we have the High Priestess in the reverse here. And disloyal. So, um, you could have been the High Priestess here and this person betrayed you and they were disloyal to you in the past. And now this person wants to come back and offer you some sort of compensation or resolution or a peace offering. Now they want to come to you and offer you some flowers. Yeah, now they feel love for you. Now it's like they keep the, these loving feelings keep building up inside them. They keep reminiscing. Maybe they know you have offers coming towards you because they didn't have a positive outcome with the person they thought was their ten of cups that they chose over you. This could have been the breakup of a home, a family situation. This could have been somebody that you lived under the same roof as, had a family with, could have been married to this person. But there was a betrayal. <clears throat> uh, but somebody could be trying to put you in a third-party situation, or there could be a group of people here talking, hanging out, chilling. Um, yeah, someone was not compassionate to you before, though. But now someone wants to come towards you and offer you some flowers but this could be an indication with those three bears there that that there is this um <clears throat> unstable emotions surrounding this so this person could have married this person this karmic energy and now they want to come loop around back to you there's some sort of message somebody wasn't who they thought they were somebody didn't want to change somebody didn't want to go through a transformation you know like they were not willing to put in the work when you were with them you're going to be celebrating there's going to be a reason to celebrate and this is going to be shocking for someone who's very unemotional um you know and they didn't have a positive outcome someone didn't want to change this could have been the person that you were with that lied about you could have been the person that they chose to be with over you. They could have promised them the world. Yes, I'll change. I'll do this, that, and the other. I'll be whoever you want me to be. I'll be whatever you want me to be. And this person's bored with this person. The, like, this masculine is bored with this feminine. Because she's just a little too... Um, I, I'm hearing submissive. Like too submissive like there's no pushback like this person just is like okay yes i'll do whatever you want and like this masculine is just like you're no fun like it's not fun for them like this person likes to play a lot of games like this masculine likes to play games but they're bored with whoever they chose because it's like they're just too submissive you know it's not like the fun kinky like you know sub dom thing like whatever that situation is and i don't want to get into that but this is like This, this chick just accepts anything and everything, but it can also be that you didn't submit to them and you're not that kind of person 
and there's just a lot of conflict within the house. Like, somebody thought something was really hot and heavy, you know, in the beginning, and they thought that this was an attractive trait with this person if they thought that they would just be submissive and just do whatever they said, and they're like, yes, I got one on the line. But then it turned out that it's really boring. Like, this person is just bored, just masculine, so now they want to try to come back to you because you don't do that shit. <laughs> you don't play that. You don't just you know, put up with someone's bullshit and let them get away with whatever. So what started out as, you know, what they thought was their wish fulfillment turned out to be not wish fulfillment when it came to a relationship or situation. Anything out of this one? Yeah, you're in your life's calling. You're working on building something long-lasting. You could be focused on your money, your work, your finances. Your hard work is paying off. <clears throat> you could be on the right path as far as career goes. You could be doing something that you love. Okay, that's way too much. I'm going to reshuffle those. Okay, so there was a tower moment here because you have a new start, a new beginning coming, and a ten of cups, a happy, stable family. So this could be a new job, a new relationship, a new beginning, a new move, um, you know, an inheritance or something, um, a large lump sum of money, something that's going to help bring you a stable, secure family life. be a promotion job offer you have money coming towards you and some sort of information scrambling so someone could be scrambling to do something or send you some sort of information about money that you were supposed to receive or get this could be from like a past employer or somebody who wants to work with you but someone is going to move quickly and scrambling to do something with some sort of communication possibly because they want to work with you go into business with you um, with the Knight of Pentacles, um, you know, maybe they want to come towards you with a money offer or they know you have money coming towards you. And so they need to get this information to you quickly. There was a tower moment because somebody was not, did not want to put in the work for something. This could be a job or relationship. This could have been a job or, um, you know, if you were up for a promotion or something and someone chose something... Um, someone over you because they thought they were a better fit. Someone was lazy. They didn't want to work. Then we have the Queen of Cups and Page of Pentacles. So we have a Queen of Cups here who could be a loving and caring person. But you may be in a state of poverty. Okay. Um, so someone may want to help you because somebody was talking shit. There could be a group of people here that were talking shit about you. Um, being lazy, not wanting to work. But you could have changed directions. You could have switched lanes and changed career paths. Um, just because somebody said you weren't working hard doesn't mean you were not working hard. You're on your life's path. So say you had a conventional job, you know, like working nine to five, like the Dolly Parton song says, and then all of a sudden you ended up becoming a content creator. You know what I'm saying? Like you completely fucked everything up for someone because you completely switched lanes and someone was trying to steal something. So someone was working really hard on stealing shit from you. They said that you were a thief, that you were lazy, that you were bummed, that you didn't want to work. Um, they could have even said, if this is somebody that you were in a relationship with and lived with them and they lied about being in a relationship with you, they could have lied and said you stole shit from them, but in reality, they stole things from you, and that's what they do. Like, they could be like a career thief, a career criminal kind of energy, and they sure as hell didn't give you the offer that you'd been waiting for. <clears throat> so they could have done something impatiently and tried to steal something from you because they didn't want to work. Someone has a decision to make regarding some sort of injury. This could be you that has a decision to make or someone that wants to make a decision or is at a crossroads about what to do with you and coming towards you with an offer wanting to work with you with a Knight of Pentacles um, and, you know, giving you that stable family situation. This could be someone who wants to work with you regarding a home, a business, um, even a relationship with the Ten of Cups of possibility. You're very loving and caring. And someone knows that about you. And someone was just a gold digger. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. So 
someone's at a crossroads about what to do about the injuries that you've suffered and the fact that you know they didn't end up getting what they wanted because they ended up with a gold digger they said all this shit about you but that's who they ended up choosing to be with over you they ended up working towards something with the queen of pentacles and this queen of pentacles could have actually ripped them off could have stolen from them so everything that they should talk about you happened to them with somebody else there was some sort of communication about this Queen of Pentacles information regarding this Queen of Pentacles. So someone doesn't want to be connected to this person anymore. There's going to be a reason to celebrate, but <clears throat> there's also a possibility of this third party situation and being trapped. So someone could be hurt because they're trapped in a third party situation currently, or this could be someone getting set free and celebrating um, after being set free from a negative, unemotional, unemotionally productive situation because someone's not moving on to calmer waters until something ended. There had to be an ending. So there was some sort of communication about someone not moving on to calmer waters and a permanent ending. So as long as somebody was attached to another person, they knew nothing was going to grow, nothing was going to go forward, and they know that you will not deal with them if they're dealing with another person or if they're attached to somebody. So this could be someone getting set free from a bad situation and, you know, mental, physical, emotional, um, you know, being trapped. And there's going to be a reason to be happy for you. This could even be you taking a journey on your own, starting something new on your own, being independent. This partnership that somebody wants to come towards you and help you with, it could be, you know, the beginning of a brand new beginning for you on your own. Someone sees how hurt you are and everything you've had to persevere through. And whatever this is, it's going to help set you free from this situation. But it can also be an indication of your ex, um, you know, setting themselves free from a third party situation and something ending with the Queen of Pentacles because they know it's not going anywhere. They were ripped off. Yeah, someone got left out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. That could have been you that got left out in the cold for this person, with for this person, or this is the um, Queen of Pentacles getting left out in the cold. And there's a barrier here, so there's someone here that wants to come towards you, but there's a barrier here. There's something stopping them from coming forward, and that is because they ended up leaving you out in the cold for this gold digger here, and so it's like they want to come towards you, they want to be with you, but they did way too much to, yeah. So a challenge here, the five of swords and the four of cups in the reverse, the, the challenge here is someone got the message that they didn't get what they wanted or they're not going to get what they wanted. Maybe because you don't want to deal with them, you could have them blocked. Like you're not entertaining offers from this person or you won't entertain offers from this person because they left you out in the cold. <clears throat> It's because you're seen as someone who is held in high honor and you have some sort of communication that's on its way towards you with the knight of wands this could be um you know sometimes it can be uh knights can be from the courts or it could just be that information is on its way towards you somebody wants to send you some sort of communication yeah someone didn't get the new start the new beginning this is a failed new beginning there was an unsuccessful new beginning here with the ace of pentacles and they didn't get a clean slate the fool in reverse so someone left you out in the cold thinking they were getting this ace of pentacles and this fool card this new start this new beginning and it didn't work out the way they thought it was going to but there's still something that's on pause or on hold at the moment so something is being caused, put on hold, everything is frozen for a minute. But this pause is going to bring you the offer you have been waiting for and a reason to be happy and celebrate. That whatever news is on its way, it's going to be a really happy, joyous news. It's going to make you very, very happy. <clears throat> because somebody told a big, fat F and lie with Ace of Swords in the reverse here. Something didn't go in their favor. Because they were a liar, they were withholding some sort of information, or everything was based on a lie, or there was some sort of truth they refused to acknowledge. The fact that they were the ones that heavily burdened you, they could have kicked you out, placed heavy burdens on you, been trying to stop you from moving or traveling, and you have options. So you're taking a moment to pause and reflect here. This pause is going to be a good thing for you. 
because you're looking at your options, you're seeing which direction you want to go. You could be at a crossroads here. So you have options, but be careful because there is a snake hiding within some of those options. Yeah, this person <laughs> put you in poverty. If you're if you're in the page of pentacles and this is what they did to you and they lied to everybody about them being the cause for these heavy burdens, now you have a group of people here scrambling to do something. Now maybe somebody wants to work with you, a group, family, whatever, um, people within the community. You have options now and there's there's a group of people here that are scrambling to do something, to figure something out, possibly even to work with you because they know you're not the problem now. This, your ex could have been lying to an entire community of people about you or even your work. Maybe you lost your job from something because of this situation. Because you had a whole group of people that was working against you to put you in poverty in the first place. But now somebody wants to come towards you with the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles with new love and financial security and stability. So whatever partnership that wants to come towards you, it has the possibility of giving you this Ten of Pentacles somebody was a queen of wands <clears throat> so there was a group of people this could have had to do with your work this could have been someone in a leadership position who didn't deserve to be in that position um it could have been someone who was a hoe who you know a group of people here who listened to this uncompassionate person over you you could have worked with this person they could have been your boss um you know something like that who wanted your life, wanted your masculine, this masculine thought that this person was so much better than you, they took them up on this offer, kicked you out on the street, said they weren't even with you in the first place, talked all kinds of shit about you, but you have somebody here who wants to make you an Ace of Cups offer, and it could be because you're in this Ten of Pentacles energy, because maybe you're going from rags to riches, like from your one to your ten, or this person can offer you this, so it may be somebody flashing their wealth around as a means or a way to try to get your attention or solidify a union with you love bombing could be significant but someone was not held in high honor here you're a high priestess and you could have called judgment on someone because you're a star you have divine protection you have a divine connection so you have the authority and the power to do so against these people who are coming against you this could have even been your co-workers, your family, a community, any of these people that worked against you. The problem is, is the person, the challenge here is the person that wants to come towards you made a bad decision on the wheel of fortune and that's why they're not held in high honor. So judgment has been called on this person that wants to come into union with you. Because they're a liar, and they're cold-hearted, and they're dishonest. They didn't use their brain as much as they think they did. They were not thinking logically about a situation or decision before they made it, especially when it came to you. And now there's a crossroads and an ending. So there's a decision and a permanent ending here for someone who was not held in high honor. So you could have permanently cut this person off. So there's this is a risky commit there's a risky commitment with this queen of wands energy so this person has some sort of attachment to this skanky ho supervisor lady um somebody who abused their power and there's a tower moment because someone thought they were going to get some money from this if they left you out in the cold so they left you out in the cold and thought they were going to get you know have things work out for them so you could have gotten left out in the cold at work and your relationship because whoever you were with could have partnered up with someone that you actually worked with at a job. Even your boss, your supervisor, management, um, you know, someone that you were close to. Someone thought they were going to get money if they left someone else out in the cold for, you know, if they left you out in the cold. Yeah, they're, the challenge is, is they're trying to keep this, this crazy bitch hidden, this queen of wands. They're trying to keep this situation hidden in the dark with the hermit in the reverse. They're trying to keep this from coming out. They don't want people to know about it. They don't want you to know about it, but you already know. You're not stupid. You know that this person was dealing with somebody and cheating on you. Whether you have proof of it or not, they made a decision to leave you out in the cold they made a decision to talk shit about you and hook up with another person and meet up with another person. 
the three of pentacles they they made the decision they were at a crossroads they had a decision they're at a stalemate they put themselves at a stalemate because they made a decision to go talk shit about you with someone else so then they linked up talk shit about you together and they thought they were going to get some sort of money and live happily ever after and now this masculine's like fucking a hey, bloody hell i don't want to be with this person like this person gets on his nerves he can't stand this being <clears throat> This person was a tyrant, an emperor, masculine, husband, father, lover, and they want they want to come towards you. They want they want something to move. They want something to move forward. They want to journey or travel towards you, but they fucked up. So it looks like this is the same motherfucker that wants to come towards you with a love offer, but they placed all these heavy burdens on you, and now they're spying and watching on you. They affected your financial stability. And now they want to come and there's a, there's a tower moment surrounding a home situation. <clears throat> they could be wanting to come towards you and offer you something. They they want to offer you a home, a business. You know, this is... They want you to live with them again. Or there's a tower moment with their housing situation. Um, because they want this person out of their house. Like, if they married this person or just live with them, whoever this karmic is, there, there's a tower moment regarding a house situation. And judgment has been called. Because there was a group of people here working to do some shady shit. There is going to be a reason for celebrating regarding a house, regarding a home situation. Because somebody went towards another person, a whole group of people were working, and they did not admire. Like, there was such contempt. There was not admiration. This there was a group of people here that just had such disdain and con discontentment. Like they like loathed a high priestess. Like your light irritated their demons so much because they're just so dark. You know, someone was not in their life's calling. There's a group of people here. Someone could have wanted to be you. They were in despair. A whole group, group of people here could have worked with somebody who didn't know what the hell they were doing. Come to find out, you are the treasure. You always have been. Somebody thought they were putting you in your place, and you turned around and showed the world that... You're right where you're supposed to be. The divine has you right where you are supposed to be. Someone tried to betray you over and over and over. It's like every time you turned around, someone was trying to disrupt your peace and stick another sword in your back. But the four of swords, there's just so much betrayal <clears throat> that people tried to do to you and thought they were going to get a payday off of it. Yeah, this risky relationship, this risky commitment, you were betrayed so many times by this person. And there's a three of cups situation. So there's there's someone trying to put you in a third party situation or they have you in one right now. This person just gets a thrill. I don't know what the hell this is. It's like this person gets some sort of so, some sweet <laughs> some sweet of joy from it. I don't know what that's all about. Maybe someone's from Brooklyn. Um, what Josie? All right. So we have the tower moment and a crossroads, a decision. Because someone's fighting a lot of battles and conflict, and th this is a very emotional situation. The Five of Cups. More than likely, it's an emotional situation because someone is standing back and watching all this shit happen to you, and they're not doing anything about it to help you out. And if they do want to help you out, it's you don't trust this person because they already did something really dirty to you. Yeah, there's a lot of emotions about this Ace of Cups. This person is emotional because they want to offer this to you, but they know you're not going to accept it from them. Because they're the ones that put you in this position where you have to fight all this shit off yourself and they lied to you. There is a third party situation that came out sideways, so now near future energy, that's going on now. There's still a third party bullshit thing going on here. 
they want to come towards you and offer you this shit, but they could be married to this person, and they could have to wait to get them out of the house or something before they can come towards you. You're going to have a positive outcome and move on to calmer waters, but this person could be emotional and upset about you receiving a love offer from somebody else as well. So you may have a decision to make about which love offer you accept, or this person's all emotional because they know that you're getting an offer from somebody else, and you, you may accept it. <clears throat> okay, so someone was desperate, and someone doesn't know they're being watched, so someone was desperately watching another person. They're going to tell you that they never cheated on you. Someone wants you to know that they never cheated on you. And they were desperately watching. You need to move on. Someone needs to move on. This person says they never cheated on you, but someone just needs to move on and let something go. Because obviously if there's a third party situation, they're not telling you the truth. You already know too much. <clears throat> You know, someone was guilty. They were guilty of doing something, and you need to walk away, run away now. If you know what I did, I feel like you do. That's why you left in the first place. Someone wants you to think that they found it again with you in the next six to nine months. Someone's going to tell you they found love again with you in the next six to nine months, or they did in the last six to nine months. Be strong. They're telling you the truth. So someone may want to come towards you in the next six to nine months and make you a solid love offer, and maybe they are going to tell you the truth. Maybe they are telling you the truth. But this other person, whoever this is, they did cheat on you. They're a lying-ass mofo. Cord cutting is needed. They're looking at your photo. They don't want you to cut the cord. This person could have been your twin flame, okay? Um, but a bad one. You know, this was not a good, you know, situation. You learned your lessons. You're a good witch, you're a good light worker, and someone has no shame, someone has no shame, they're unapologetic, and they lied about being in a relationship with you, and they thought that it's not a big deal, there's not serious consequences, but there really was no good reason for what this person did to you. There really is no defense or excuse, because you are an authentic teacher or a prophet, and you know the truth, and what they did to you was really dirty and shady, and you saw them for exactly who, what, and what they are. And now they're trying to cover shit up. A bald spot's hard to cover up. Because their spell work backfired. They were using legit spell work or dark magic to hold you back. What's holding you back? And they were acting very childish and immature. And they want you to be lonely. And they could be feeling lonely. But they're deceiving themselves. Something is all in divine timing. My wife and I are very happy. That's not true. And someone hired someone to spy on you. So someone was having problems in their marriage. And they, either them or whoever they married has been spying on you and they hired someone to spy on you and watch you and you're innocent and this person is a dark witch or warlock this is a father or son figure they owe you money because they stole shit from you they were switching up vehicles using different cars sending someone to pick them up i told you you already know too much someone is multitasking and doing way too much and you're not stupid Someone was holding a grudge because they didn't get saved. They didn't want you to get saved, money to burn. So maybe some sort of money bailed you out with that Ace of Pentacles. So someone's holding a grudge against you or they're going to hold a grudge against you because you're getting bailed out. Like if you're looking for that 11th hour, Hail Mary, Miracle, Pardon, whatever, someone's holding a grudge against you because you received it. Don't step on anyone's toes. Someone needs to tread lightly and proceed with caution because there's a lot of toe stomping going on. <clears throat> September could be significant. That one's blank. A Sagittarius and the initials E, F, G, and H. So someone needs to proceed with caution when it comes to stomping on someone's toes here. I just heard we're going to have a good, good old-fashioned toe stomping hell of a time. Well, you go right ahead with that and see how it works out. Someone does not want to learn their lessons. They really do not. So we have go for broke. A pain in the neck, a pain in the butt. Yeah, someone's going to end up going broke. The Sagittarius 
Then we have a fire sign again, Aries, Leo, Sag. So fire sign's really heavy. Someone wanted to be a pain in the neck, a pain in the butt. This person could be a fire sign or they did this to a fire sign. And then May is significant. So someone's going to be going broke in May or May is significant. They're going to do some stupid shit to try to make someone else go broke. And then we have August and a Virgo. They're going to regret their decision. Whatever action they're about to take in Virgo again. Something significant about Virgo and Noon. You reap what you sow. Someone's just being stubborn. Someone's intrigued though. And they want to know more. How did you do it? How are you doing it? What? How did you survive this bullshit? Because... These people could have been doing something, a group of people, birds of a feather, flock together since July. So, but you were able to read between the lines or someone is reading between the lines and now someone's up for arrest. August could be significant. Thick as thieves. These people were thieves and they were jealous and envious. Green-eyed monster. So these thieves could be getting arrested. You're cool though. You're moving forward. Aquarius careful look before you leap someone is missing you but they didn't see eye to eye with you and they had to get something done in the nick of time february could have been significant they were waiting for the other shoe to drop because a whole can of worms has been open but someone's missing the boat with a libra or something needs to be balanced out because someone missed the opportunity to do something proceed with caution better safe than sorry someone is seeing the light though someone is seeing the truth they are reading between the lines you're going to weather this storm Anything else? Once again, May. Someone thought something would be like stealing candy from a baby on a Monday. Someone wants you to live under the same roof as them. This person is older. There could be something significant in April. This could have been someone that you threw in the towel with. And if you choose to be with this person, um, your ancestors would be rolling over in their grave because they could have tried to take you out, eliminate you, ruin your life, ruin your career. They put you in poverty. And now someone's back's up against the wall. They want your back up against the wall so you don't have any other choice but to live under the same roof as them because they know you won't choose to be with them any other way because of all the stupid bullshit they did to you. Gemini, justice is blind. Someone did not want to get their wake-up call, but someone here is as sharp as attack. And that is making somebody want to be under the influence. They're three sheets to the wind chomping at the bit because they were pissed off and angry. Because they really thought something was going to be easier said than done. Or as easy as one, two, three. But they were on a wild goose chase. Someone's just playing the field. And they're trying to take something to the next level. But, you know, they were spreading rumors against you, about you. And now all of a sudden someone wants to team up with you. You're going to have someone who wants to team up with you. It's only a matter of time. Someone wants to kiss and make up with you. You could be two peas in a pod with this person. So that could be like your twin flame thing. But you just proceed with caution. For some of you, this is a really bad thing. Your ancestors will kick your ass for some of you. If you take this person back. But someone wants to kiss and make up with you and team up with you. And it's only a matter of time. Alright, person, place, or thing. Letter Y could be significant. Someone wants to know why you won't talk to them. Gee, I wonder why. Another why. Why, why? So you could have more than one person asking why. Someone's being questioned. Okay. Someone is trying to find out the truth about a situation. A third why. What the hell? We have three people that could be getting questioned or asking why. F. <clears throat> Maybe there's up to three people that are going to get arrested. M. O. Someone's trying to find out what someone's motive is. Why did they do this? Someone's definitely going to jail. For real. I. Someone's nickname could be Momo, or someone's name could be Momo. X. U. And J. I'll do one more. 
and M. So I have two M's, three Y's, K, F, O, I, X, U, and J. I hope this helps. Have a good day.